we help Matt out. Shantae was talking about the site in Utah. The site in Utah, as she described, EPA was going to uh, list it under Superfund. And somebody rushed in uh, and said, uh, no, Rio Tinto can do it better than you, EPA. Well, that may have been the case. I wasn't there. I didn't work that site. But listed under Superfund means the polluter cleans up the mess they made, or EPA will do it, and they'll charge the polluter three times treble damages as much as they spend cleaning it up. So if EPA didn't know how to do it, that means they'd spend even more money than somebody that did. And under the law, Rio Tinto would have to pay three times uh, that amount. That's the way that works. So let's uh, clear that one up. But uh, with respect to Eagle Rock, I want to give Rio Tinto a chance right now, as close to the, the reservation as, as you can get. You can almost throw a rock there if you've got a good arm and you'll be on the, that reservation to clear up this. At most mines, when I asked Jack Parker and other mining experts, where do you put the mine portal? The answer is right over the ore body. That makes sense. Probably makes sense to everybody. I mean, why would you want to tunnel for a long distance to get to that $5 billion worth of ore when you can get right to it? But you did that. And it's in the end of Eagle Rock. And here's what I maintain. It's in the end of Eagle Rock because the big problem, and you got this right early on, long before the people told you, <coughs> the big important thing to people from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is clean water, the environment. And water pollution at these mines is the greatest problem. So what do you do? To take the focus off of water pollution, you propose to put the mine portal into a spiritual rock. Well, spiritual rocks aren't important to the majority of the people in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. That's a fact. So you drive a wedge between the tribe and the environmental advocacy groups who are suing you and the majority of the people in the UP who really care about clean water, Lake Superior, protecting the environment. If that was the textbook you used, congratulations, it worked. But tell us now. Why did you have to put that mine portal right into the end of Eagle Rock? Why couldn't you have put it someplace else? Like the administrative law judge recommended at the end of that 42-day long hearing that my tribe spent millions of dollars litigating. And that was the recommendation, and the state official ignored it, and there is the mine portal, you can see it on the picture, into the end of Eagle Rock. So part 632 didn't work for us, did it? Answer that question. Why couldn't you put it someplace else? The portal design was going to go directly into Eagle Rock. Uh, as a result of concerns expressed by the tribe, the portal was moved back from the rock. Uh, the reason it's, it's positioned there is because it's in a sandy plain, and if you're digging an underground mine, you have to access rock. Uh, because it's a sandy plain, the trench to put the portal down would have been massive. Uh, so it was to find optimum mine design. Anything else you want to say about that, John? No, that's, that's exactly correct. 